All right, so I'm going to be talking about internet in the country. If you're like us and you live way out here in the country, too far from any major cities, then you probably cannot get any fiber internet. You're stuck with DSL at around 5 to 10 megabits per second, or you can possibly get satellite, which is like horrible latency and, and they cap your data and it's horrible for gaming. Okay, so the major carriers like AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile have been re rolling out their 5G plans, which, same thing, you're not going to get it unless you are in a major metropolitan area, and that's even more limited than fiber. And the speeds, especially on the outskirts, aren't even that great anyway. I live in, I work in Columbus, and around the edge where I'm getting like one or two bars of 5G, it's probably at best almost as good as 4G so there's they're offering some home internet plans but like I said you just can't you just can't get them if you're in the country at least not yet and probably not for a while so the good news is that a lot of the carriers now are using their 4G bandwidth to offer home internet to um, people like us that live in the country that don't have any other options. My cell phone carrier is Verizon, and I get really good coverage where I'm at, but for some reason they don't offer any 4G plans as far as home internet goes where I live. Hopefully they will soon, but they, they don't for some reason. Okay, so if you can get Verizon, they claim they're... Typical download speeds are going to be around 25 megabits per second. They send you a free router and they claim it's uncapped and unthrottled. It's $60 a month or if you're a Verizon cell phone customer, you can get it for $40 a month. So AT&T has a similar service. They call it fixed wireless. They also claim speeds around 25 megabits per second. Uh, it's $60 a month, but they have a limit of 350 gigs per month and then after that you start paying ten dollars per every 50 gig which i think is kind of ridiculous now everybody's you stream just just about everything so a large household like like i have we're using almost two terabytes a month you know we'd be spending two hundred dollars a month it, it does cap out at two hundred dollars a month and we would definitely do that every month so not a good choice unless you are use less than that and also they claim the upload speed is one megabit per second and there's a 99 dollars setup fee that brings us to t-mobile and that is what we have right now it's 50 dollars a month no extra fees it's just a flat 50 bucks a month and there is no caps they do say they will after 50 gigs they will deprioritize you behind people that have used less data that has not been an issue for us at all, and we use, you know, we use that 50 gigs first day. And it, nothing has, has not been noticeable at all. Well, we still get uh, good speeds. We've got, you know, the kids are streaming YouTube. Me and my wife are watching Netflix or Hulu and whatever else is going on. And and we, we don't have any issues. Before this, we had AT&T DSL at 6 megabits per second. If more than one person was streaming, you start getting buffering and lag. And Okay, so they send you a free router, and there's no setup fee, no fee for the router. Uh, you can cancel any time. There's no contracts. It just overall, it appears to be the best choice between the three. And from what I have experienced, versus what I've heard of the other ones, it has been a lot better. Uh, for the most part, I'm only getting two bars on the router as far as the signal strength, and, and we still get and, and we still get good speeds. When I first set it up, I had three bars, and I did a speed test when nothing else was going on, and it was almost 90 megabits per second. So I was thrilled. It was, it was amazing. Never, I have not seen speeds like that for a while because we've been living out in the country for about seven years now i would say on average we get about 40 to 50 megabits per second down and about four or five up so when it's during peak times like say after dinner time when the most people are on 
if I do a speed test, it might be around 30 or 40 or so, and it's still absolutely fine for, for what we need, which is, which is quite a bit with all the people in this house. So it's working out well. So here's our setup of what we have now. This is the router they sent us. And on the top, you have a little touchscreen display. Like I said, I'll see it's still showing, showing at two bars right now. And on the back, we've got only two Ethernet outputs. And we've got something for uninterrupted power supply and then the power, power button. So it only has the two hard wires coming out. So I'm running this ASUS router. And I have it plugged into here, and then we run everything off of off of the router. Either uh, we have a few hard wires coming out. I got I got it going downstairs to the basement to uh, the kids, two of the kids' rooms, and it splits down there. A little hub that splits the signal. I think the router it says you can cook up to like maybe ten devices. Um, we have a run through the router, and we have a lot more. Than that, I mean, we got the Google Home, we got Alexa there, another Echo over there, um, we have a TV, a computer, and two more computers back there. We got another Echo in the kitchen. We got two printers in the basement. We got another TV up here, another computer here. Here is the little hub I was talking about, which splits the signal into three more directions to go in, in that room for the boys' room. I don't know where the other one goes. Where's the other one go? Oh, and then the other hard wire goes to this computer. All right, so here is the AT&T page for their fixed wireless, $60 a month, and the Verizon which is 40 with um, the cell phone plan or 60 without. They only own their information on here. And uh, the T-Mobile, which we have, which is the $50 a month. I'll put the links to all these in the description if you want to, if you want to check it out. You want to compare for yourself. Okay, so now for the really good news. All right, so SpaceX, the company that makes spacecrafts and rockets and satellites are on a mission to create Starlink which is going to be an internet service that's going to be available to everybody no matter where you are they're basically putting thousands of satellites across the sky to create an internet service that'll be fast low latency and that'll be available everywhere they have started accepting pre-orders for a limited time for certain parts of the country. For me yesterday, it said, it said service in my area would be available mid to late this year. And I believe for some other places, some other parts of the country is going to be 2022. The good news is, is they're working on it very fast and they're accomplishing a lot in a short amount of time. And they hope to have this available to the public, to everybody very soon. So I did put an order in, had to put a $99 deposit down, which still doesn't guarantee service. But when the time comes and service is available, I will be able to get it. So if you are interested in this, I suggest you, you get in here and check it out and put an order in if it's still available when you do. Because it's for a limited amount of people that are... They're releasing it to groups at a time. Like right now, I think they have like 10,000 people using it and they're making it more widely available as time goes on. So there's a $499 installation fee and it's $100 a month. Uh, might seem a little high, but uh, no doubt I would, I, would, I would definitely pay that much for fast, reliable internet where I live. They're advertising that you'll be able to get somewhere between 50 and 150 megabits down with very low latency. So it'll be, it'll, it'll be amazing. So we'll see what happens. If I have any other news about getting it, I will post that. And if and when I do get it, I will definitely 
be posting my experience getting it set up. Until then, T-Mobile's working out all right. I would suggest giving them a try if you're in the same situation I was where you're on like DSL or something slow because there's nothing else available. I hope this helped anybody out who is frustrated with their lack of internet options. I'll put the links in the description to the different services that I talked about. And I thank you for watching.